Good, happy Tuesday morning, June 11, 2019. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Big Poppy. David Ortiz lands in Boston on medical flight, escorted to Mass General. Retired Red Sox slugger David Ortiz has landed in Boston on a medical flight coming from Dominican Republic, where he was shot on Sunday night. Red Sox officials sent the plane so Big Poppy could be brought to Mass General Hospital for further treatment. Ortiz, 43, was ambushed by a man who got off a motorcycle and shot him in the back at nearly point-blank range Sunday night in his native Dominican Republic, authorities said. Red Sox fans from New Hampshire at Fenway Park for a game on Monday had well wishes for OTs. Police identified the gunman as 25-year-old Eddie Belts Garcia, according to ESPN. And all of us here at the Riley King Network send our well wishes and thoughts and prayers to David Ortiz. Dominican natives in New Hampshire react to shooting of David Ortiz. Brothers who own Dominican restaurant stunned by news. Members of the Dominican community in New Hampshire are shocked and saddened by the shooting of one of the Dominican Republicans' most famous sons, former Red Sox slugger David Ortiz. Brothers Francisco Torres and Mario Aradinado, who hail from the same city as Ortiz, said they were speechless when they heard the news. When Torres first heard about the shooting involving Ortiz on social media, he thought it wasn't true. Torres said Ortiz is not just loved by people in the Dominican Republic for his success in baseball, but mostly for his dedication to his foundation and to the community. The brothers said they will be keeping Ortiz in their thoughts and are wishing him a quick recovery. Dow features slightly higher despite Trump's warning on China tariffs. U.S. stock indexes features were slightly higher on Tuesday morning, despite comments from President Donald Trump on trade war with China. Roger Stone calls John Dean's 
House testimony, clickbait, questions follow, Watergate figures, capability. Decades before Roger Stone, the longtime advisor to President Donald Trump, became involved in special counsel Robert Mueller's probe into Russian election meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election, he was part of an investigation into possible obstruction of justice committed by a different commander-in-chief, President Richard Nixon. And your 2020 New Hampshire candidate tracker for June 11, 2019, there is one candidate that will be in New Hampshire today. Candidate Tim Ryan, he's in New Hampshire today. He will be speaking at politics ex at St. Elmsham College in Manchester, New Hampshire, beginning at 8 o'clock a.m. And that is it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you back here later on today for another newscast. And I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Goodbye, everyone.